To begin, you're going to open the Sketchbook app. And it's going to have your sketch from before. So to get a new sketch, you're going to click on this top toolbar, that square. You're going to click New Sketch. And then to turn it to portrait mode, it's on landscape mode right now. I'm just going to click this little box right here and it will turn it to portrait mode. All right. And then click create. And you'll have a new sketch. Now, what you're going to do first is you're going to make sure you're on the technical pen tool. So it's the fourth one down. Technical pen tool. I'm going to put it on three and then I'm going to go up here and this is the symmetry tool on the top toolbar. It's right in the middle. It's like two wigglies with a line down. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on the first one that will make a dotted line going down your screen. I'm going to press this lock button. That way it stays there and I can't move it. So this tool is just going to stay like that. And it makes everything that I draw on this side, draw on that side. Remember this arrow is the back button. If you make a mistake and I'm going to start on the black. So this is how you change the color to black. Now, you're going to want to start with the shape of the head. So I'm going to start up here and there's all different types of shapes of the head. You can start with a flat top. And remember, whatever you draw on here goes on that side. So if you want like a straight line for a flat top, you can do it that way and then bring it down to the bottom. Just remember, it always has to connect. So this is how you zoom out and in. Pinch. If there's a little tiny piece right there, make sure that closes in. Or when we color these, it's just gonna color the whole page. So you can do whatever shape of the face that you want, and then you can start putting designs on it. If you want horns, if you want eyes, you can use the tools that we were using last time, like the oval tool. If you want like to draw an oval eye, it will draw it on, on both sides. So the only thing is you can't draw an oval in the middle because it's it'll duplicate it or you can freehand it. Another tool that's really handy is the ruler tool. So with the ruler tool, you can draw straight lines. So if you want like a design on the top and you want a really straight line, this is, this will make it really straight. It also has a circle. So this you can use, you can make big circles, smaller circles, and you can trace half of it. So if you want this to be like the mouth, make sure it's lined up and you can just draw on half of it, half of the circle. You can also play around with the nose. Make sure you're only drawing half of the nose. You can pinch and zoom it and draw like the nostrils or any small details. So you could zoom it in and out when you're drawing different details to make it easier. And you could change the um, size of the pen to make it small, to make little designs around the eyes. You can also make dots by making it the biggest size. And you can make dots around the eye. Some other tools, so you can play around with um, the different tools up here. This one is a curve tool. 
So for example, if you want to do an eyebrow, you can move this around these dots, like move it, curve it, and you can make an eyebrow and tracing the inside of this. And it will make a curve line. So you can make spikes on the top of the head. You can make horns coming out of the side. You can design your mask however you want, with zigzags and lines on the face. And then you can also experiment with the other tools on the side. Like here I did the vintage marker tool to make spikes around the whole face. And um, you can experiment with whatever tools that you want. When you're ready to color it, we're gonna use the paint bucket tool like we did before. So the paint bucket tool is this tool up here. And once you select the paint bucket tool, the symmetry guidelines are not there anymore. So that's the only thing with the coloring part is if you're coloring one, one eye, Symmetry is the exact same on both sides, so you're going to want to color the other eye too. So to switch colors, you can click on this black dot. And there's two different color. Um, there's the color wheel right here that you can click on whatever color you want. You can also click on this. And it shows you different shades of different colors. So like the green, you can pick from all these different greens, blues. You can play around with what looks the best on yours. Like if you want to make it blue, go ahead. So the one thing I wanted to show you is if things aren't lined up, like if you just are playing around and you want every other box to be purple. If you try to fill in something that isn't all the way enclosed, it's going to fill in the whole thing. Same for anything. So um, if that happens, all you got to do is like pick the mechanical pen tool or whatever tool you were, I think I was working on the vintage, and then just bring the line up so it connects. And then it will color it. Once you're finished with your drawing, you're going to click the top toolbar, the first one on the top toolbar to save it. You're going to click share and then save image. And this will save it to your iPad. If that's not working, you can also screenshot it by pressing the bottom, the button on the back of your iPad and the home button. Just zoom it out so you see the whole image and not the toolbar so you can just screenshot and you can also crop it so all of the toolbars are out of the image and save it to your photos you can go on the seesaw app and the new activity is called digital african mask symmetry add a response you're going to upload photos and videos, and then you're going to pick your photo. Press the little check button and press check again.